Christchurch is the second largest city in New Zealand and has a population of about 380,000. We're also right on the coast and so there's a number of beaches close by and that's a really important part of Christchurch life. My name's Vicky Taylor and I'm the acting CIO at the Christchurch City Council. The council itself is responsible for managing all the council related services, so water and waste and rubbish are the obvious ones. And then the council also obviously has all those corporate shared functions required to run a large organisation, so finance, HR, information technology, procurement, those sorts of things. And the council employs about 2,500 people. We use Infor's pathway system for processing building consents and resource consents as well as health and liquor licences. My primary role is to allocate work to staff members from Infor pathway on a daily basis and ensure that that work gets done. The main benefits of Infor pathway for us have been transparency where all the consents are. We can look up straight away for a customer where a consent is sitting, who it's with, have they started the job, have they finished the job, has it gone to another team to have a look at. It means jobs can be worked on by a number of teams all at the same time, it makes the process quicker and I can just think quickly on my feet and shift people around as required. Import Pathway works on our mobile devices so that we can actually update and manage our processes in the field. And because it's a cost recovery system, they also enter in the time span for the invoice. And the invoice is recorded, set up and issued later by our administration team. So it's a woe to go system uh, from when the person applies to when we start charging them for the visit. On the 4th of September 2010, we had a massive earthquake. It was 7.1 on the Richter scale, and there was quite a lot of building damage, but we felt really lucky because nobody died. And we thought we'd managed to get past the big one. But a few months later, in February 22nd, 2011, a more devastating earthquake hit. The Christchurch city is still um, recovering from the earthquakes of 2010-2011, um, which has pushed volumes for rebuilding properties up, which over time with the N4 Pathway product is the ability to make and adapt the changes that are required. With the increase in building consent applications, that system has been really important to support those processes. When we changed from our old system to the new one, we basically had about a day's training for everyone to get used to it. And with that, they were pretty much up and running within two days without too many questions. The dashboards, um, they're quite funky. So we can tailor them to how we want them, whether they're in graph form or dial form. I mainly use dials and graphs, but they clearly state how many consents are there to process and what workflows for what job. The statutory time frame of 20 days that we have in place for building consents, Info Pathway allows us to start the clock when a consent comes in the door and is accepted and allows us to stop it if we have to send anything out for further information. Info Pathway yeah, provides us with the ability to meet those, those targets and be managing the fact that we have to turn the clock on and off depending on whether we require additional information. Info Pathway gives us detail quickly, then anyone using the system is able to just pick it up and run with it. Info Pathway is one of the key solutions that we use to provide services to the citizens. The council only exists because of the citizens. And so I think technology's got a, a really important part to play in the council and general city life over the next 10 years.